Hello everyone, I hope you're all very well. Today we are solving one of the mysteries of the universe and that is in DTS world what the bloody hell is cockpit visual recon mode no one knows what it is we'll be doing this for five years like almost every day and we can't figure it out and yes we've looked through the the, the manual many times and it's not there it's just a thing that no one knows what it is so maverick su35 has finally told us thank you very much for telling us so i'm going to show you guys first options gameplay this is something that will usually be ticked off but in this case because we want to test it cockpit visual recon mode on so that is essentially effective for single player and multiplayer and for, for it to be allowed in a multiplayer server the multiplayer server option must be on so i'm going to show you that i'm going to go to the options for the multiplayer mission and you may have to do this also in single player i'm not sure and you have to make sure that visual recoil mode is ticked on there and selected on there so it's forced on for all players in this example for it to work in multiplayer we're going to go to fog of war fog of war must be on in multiplayer for this to work we're going to save that up and i'm going to exit that and i'm going to open that in a multiplayer server and rc is going to come and experiment with me we're in the mission now i'm in an f-15c rc is a tactical commander on my side and we've got fog of war selected so i'm going to go rc tell me what exactly you can see on your f-10 as a tactical commander right now i can only see your plane right so you can't see a couple of cargo planes that are ahead of me by about one mile nope Right, so we're about to show you how we can illuminate these on the Tactical Commander's screen. So I've seen these baddies, I want the Tactical Commander to be aware of them, so I'm going to press the button for Visual Recon Mode. I just need to pause at RC, I'm going to go to Adjust Controls, and I'm going to go to Search. For this particular aeroplane, I'm going to go type Search Recon. Enable Visual Recon Mode. By standard, it will be set to Mouse Button 2, which is the right mouse button. For some reason, that doesn't work on my mouse, I have no idea why it just crashes the window so what I've done is I've actually set it to mouse button 3 as well and I could do that by clicking on it press the mouse button 3 which is like the middle thing and that works okay for me so it's just a thing to bear in mind now I'm going to go to okay now it's important that we don't have a uh, selector mode set so if you're in a high fidelity plane you will have selector mode set um, there is selector mode and you can tell because it's got a little um, uh, a yellow cross where you can go and push buttons and stuff like that in an fc3 plane it will not be selected as standard to change between selector mode and recon mode press left alt and c and then it disappears so we're no longer in selector mode so you have to make sure you've turned the little yellow cross off with left alt and charlie next i'm going to press the middle mouse button to enable visual recon mode and oh it doesn't work it's probably because i'm paused so let me uh, get unpaused there we go and we get this little cross and the idea is when we've got this cross we move this cross onto a target and press the left mouse button then it will send that target over to the gci basically so are you ready um rc i'll set stand by i've actually lost the targets okay i'm gonna get the guy on the left if i can see him, see him. selected and uh have one c17a on the Roger. Yeah. i'm gonna get the other guy so middle mouse button for me and got him and a second c17 is that's shown it. up that's it so that's pretty much what it's there for uh that that's what it does it's bugged at the moment it's in uh ed's infinite wisdom it, they draw the cursor behind the world so it works in the sky airplanes but if i go into the ground ping it goes behind the world so we can't actually target stuff on the on the in the you know on the ground or you can actually but you just can't see where the cursor is so it's pretty much pointless uh so that's just the thing to bear in mind if you click somewhere that's not a valid target like there it tells you no targets are found and just resets it so that's the use of it in multiplayer with the options as we've set and to be fair that's actually quite useful so if we're doing a big multiplayer game like capture the north or something where the gci or the tactical commander only has fog of war set and we find a target of interest on the ground or in the air you can send that information over to him and he can make adjustments that's something we'll start using uh ed have got to fix the ground thing because it's useless at the moment we need to be able to look through the ground so um and to pressure them to get that done apparently there is single player functionality where we can do a similar thing to our wingmen to our ai wingmen we can't get any of this to work we can only get the multiplayer side of it to work it seems to be really really bugged in single player correct me if i'm wrong but we've tried just about every iteration we can of single player and at the moment with open beta or october 2019 we can't get that to work all we've got to say i hope that was useful see you later